Ram Love, Elder Rakar, all right, Elder Madatsazak, all these brothers that have been laboring for for uh, for decades, all right, to ensure that they didn't drop that flag, which is basically the standard. Okay, just like in war, you hold that flag up. We hold up the standard. When one man falls, when when Lahab fell off, when all them wicked men just left us out here to dry these dry bones up in here, they picked it up and continue marching forward. Keep going down, huh? Nine. Verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh, most high power, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus said the most high power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And that's what it is right now. We got that breath. All right, the breath is the understanding of these scriptures. All right, we got the breath of life. Okay, we got the understanding of the commandments of the mysteries of the kingdom. Okay, got that name. We got the name. Oh, that's right. That's the life. You know, like the brother said, we got the name. We got the, we got the uh, like we were talking about yesterday, I, the, the the password, man. And we got that password, man. Y'all, a lot of uh, two thirds of our people, man. They basically gonna be sitting there just like it is on a computer. You ain't got the password, man. You're going to lock you out. You know, after a certain amount of tries, man. <laughs> it's over with. After, yeah, yeah, after yeah. a certain amount of tries, you get locked out, man. <laughs> you got to go to the administrator, man. Yep. The administrator ain't going to answer you, though, this time, though. Okay. You, you know, ain't going to be no help desk line. Like, you know, you'd be at, at the plantation. You'd be like, man, I you know, forgot my password. Or, you know, I've been locked out. I think I forgot. You're going to call that help line. And they're going to be like, well, look, we're going to go ahead and reset it. Most high ain't doing a reset for your ass, man. He ain't doing a reset for you, uh, Baloo. Uh, Zabak. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they they help. Right. don't even answer. Huh? They don't want even answer. Yeah. I'll you know. Get back to you so weeks after. It's gonna be doo doo doo. Yeah. You're playing that elevator music. Disconnected. Yeah. You're playing that elevator music. You're gonna be holding on until the missiles come. Right. Okay. <laughs> most high test. Most high took the name. <laughs> most high took the name from a lot of you because y'all were wicked, man. Uh -huh. You know, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, didn't want to believe in this thing. So that's the reason why right now, like the brother was going into. We got the breath, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, not by our own power. Okay? So keep going down, huh? Nine, verse 6. And I will lay sinew upon you, and I will bring a flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, right. bone to his bone. Mm -hmm. And when I beheld, lo, a sinew, sinews, and the flesh came upon up upon them, mm -hmm. and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Uh oh, there's a problem. You got some people. They got the skin. They got. Hey, they know the Israel. Uh. Hey, they can tell you they're Israel all day. They can scream that they're Israel, or we know it. Hey, guess what? When you go into the Gospels, the wicked niggas knew they were Israelites. So what the hell does knowing you're Israelite mean if you ain't got the breath in you? <laughs> That's your IUICs, yeah. GOCCs, your ISUPKs. You know, they got the skin, but no breath. Huh. Yeah. You know, they don't got the, in fact, go ahead and give me that, Revelations 19 and 10. Okay. Because they don't got, like the brother said, they ain't got the breath, man. Hey, you know, our people understand is that being knowing your Israel means nothing. If you don't believe on the on, on Yahweh Basham Yahushai. If you don't believe in it, if you don't believe in this gospel, it don't mean nothing if you know your Israel. Yeah, niggas that knew that believed that they're Israel, they, and they went over there to uh to Egypt. Ricard left them over there behind. <laughs> you had the other, what's the other uh, dude's name that took them over there to Israel? They over there by a uh, damn near nuclear reactor. Oh, oh, ben Amin. Ben Amin. Ben Amin. Ben Amin. They knew they were Israel, but they didn't have no breath to understand they had to stay their ass here to get delivered. They didn't have the faith. Okay? They didn't believe in the prophecies because, again, they didn't, have, they didn't have the breath. Go ahead and give me uh, that in Revelation 19. Okay. Revelations 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. 
And that's part of the breath you gotta have, man. You gotta have the testimony of Yahweh Shah to even understand these prophecies, man. I mean, that's the whole point that he, this whole reason why he was sent down here was to redeem us and to give us an everlasting kingdom. But you got people out here trying to build a kingdom in, in, in shit right now. You got Nate trying to build an empire, man. Setting up franchises, going from one city to the next, setting up little franchises like, like it's McDonald's or something. Yeah, trying to build it up on, like your brother said, on a dunghill. You said to set up up on a place that the most eyes is going, it has its eyes is destroyed. When this place is about to go down, you're sitting here trying to set up, uh, uh, go to one city to the next. Hey, the, 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 just like we talked about yesterday. The most high was dealing with the apostles and elders to bring out the word on YouTube. Then the spirit jumped on brothers to start setting up different camps. Then you had to come and travel. Oh, that's right. Apostle had to go to London to go set up a camp with them brothers out there in uh -huh. London, brothers out there in Amsterdam, okay? Right. Then he had to go all the way out there and say, hey, look, like Nate do, go and try and set up a camp, try and make sure he vet, he vet, he, uh, vet the guy that's going to be with him, make sure that he knows, hey, look, this is how we operate, don't teach the name, don't teach this, don't teach that, make sure that he's down with, it, with his doctrine. He didn't have to do that. This is the spirit of the Most High that, that, did, that did this work, okay? So go ahead and continue down. We're going to finish off. Now, verse 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind. Hey, that's spiritual right there. Prophesy unto the wind. Because even though when the apostles out there doing the work, sometimes nobody will be out there. Hey, they were just prophesying to the wind. Now, the Most High was going, to let, was going to have it travel and go in the way that it was going to go. Somebody was eventually going to hear it. Okay, keep going. Thus said the most high power, come from the come from the four winds, O breath, and mm. breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. An exceeding great army. That's what the most high is raising up. An army. All right, an army of men. Ain't no woman in this. Huh, ain't gonna be, huh? ain't, ain't gonna be no uh, Juanita, Bi uh, Juanita Bynum. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna be no. We ain't gonna see a uh, Joe Osteen wife talking. Right. Okay. Joyce Myers. Jo ain't no Joyce Myers. Yeah. Uh, what's the other one? Paula. Uh, Paula. Paula. White. Paula White. Most high to set y'all up. This is about the men. This is the army. Okay. An exceeding great army of men that was going to basically stand up for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and stand stiffly in the last days. Yeah, I say this right quick, man. Uh, the Most High created woman for man. The Most High didn't create woman for 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 his use. Although you know, the Most High is the Most High. He can use a woman if he choose to, like Deborah, huh. like uh, like Esther, like uh, Judah. Judas. You know, but for the most part, the the Most High created woman for man, mm -hmm. and He created man for His purpose. So we we are created. We put here on the earth to do the will, do the bidding. And when I say we, I'm talking about the men of Israel. Right now, one third we would put here to do the bidding of the Most High, mm -hmm. just like the Most High uses. Even you know, even Esau. Esau was put here to do the bidding of the Most High mm -hmm. on the left hand mm -hmm. side, you know. Mm -hmm. But the women was put here for our use. You know, to help us as a help meet to us, man. Kind. And that's why, you know, one of the reasons why Babylon is so far thrown off because here it is, the white man makes, again, women equal to man. How the fuck is a woman equal to a man? You know, she physically weaker. She doesn't, she doesn't deal with logic or reason. And, uh, you know, just all around, you know, the most I created the man to be to be the head of woman. You know, so the hell with all that, man. Oh. Yeah, I wanna get uh we get some new readers, man. We gonna yeah. yeah, yeah. We go here, I know you Yeah, come on in, brother. I wanna I wanna just get uh right quick John three. At the top, man. We we gonna switch gears right quick, you know. To hell with the woman, man. The woman ain't got shit to do with this. The most high dealing with men. You know, and them bones those dry bones begin with the men of Israel, and then it's gonna trickle down to the to the women and children. The men must get right first. Come. 
all things in order. Just like when you go into the scriptures, man. Uh, hey, the with with uh, the saving of Israel, you got your house shot. Yeah, somebody gra grab the camera for the brother. All right, I got it. Yeah, at the top. But right, your house shot the first fruits. Bad, and then after that, you know, those who are your house buy some your house shots. So you know, when it pertains to salvation, your house shot the head. He he made it. He made it first. He's sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father right now. Now it's our turn, Lord willing, we are the elect. We receiving this truth through the Holy Spirit. Come. It ain't it ain't dealing with women. Women ain't waking up. Man, the the, the uh, proof of that, go home and try to tell your woman about this truth. <laughs> you know? Try to school your woman on the doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Soon as you start going into Christmas is wicked, Easter is wicked, you lost it. Cause That's right. Valentine's Day. Soon, uh, soon as you, yeah, all these wicked holidays, you lost it. Yeah. Soon as you start breaking down to it that a woman's supposed to be a help meet to a man, you lost it. <clears throat> you know? Or just telling them the white man is the devil. Oh, it's a wrap. You know, she's yeah, out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the the most high is yeah. not dealing with her. You know, this is why we in this thing as soldiers. We're in this in this truth as soldiers, man. We really, you know, outside of the brotherhood, we in this world by ourselves, man. You know, the brothers ain't gonna be around you with you 24/7. That's why you better get in good with your Howard Bosham, your Howard Shot. So yeah, go ahead, and bring that out. It's John three. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. That said, came. The same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that our that thou art a good, thou art a teacher, come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. Exactly. So here you had Nicodemus, a Pharisee, who believed in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So not all Pharisees and scribes were wicked. Right. Then Nicodemus is proof. Go ahead, brother, read on. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of, of the Most High. So Yahweh shall <clears throat> response, except a man be born again, you cannot, you're not gonna make it into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know? And uh Yahweh Shah also said, flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom. And I'm trying to remember what that what that is. If you can find that, brother, uh, bring that out, man. But read that read that for me again, not. Okay. Yahweh shall answer and say unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Go ahead. Nicodemus said unto him, <coughs> How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right, so <coughs> coming into this truth, man, we have to be made a new man. <laughs> Putting off that old man, the flesh, this fleshly self, man, the ego, all this shit that come with it. We got to be born again into this truth. You know, born of the spirit. So, you know, Yahweh Shah was basically breaking it down to, to Nicodemus that this is a spiritual thing. This truth is spiritual. That's why you got these camps that can't get it, man. I U I C. They can't get it. How, what you mean? Uh you don't know the name. You know? Just going into the into them dry bones, man. That's us receiving the spirit being born again. When we was out here Walking them dry bones represents us in our state of death, not knowing who we were Come. as a nation of people, not knowing who our Heavenly Father was, not knowing who our Lord and Savior was. We were walking around literally dead, and they, uh, you can grab that congregation of the dead uh, in the book of Proverbs. You know, damn, see, we was like this cat. Get that cat. I, what?